All right, what it do? I came out to do what I do, thinking that the uh, water feature would be working full steam, but it's not working at all. So I am frustrated. But I don't know. I'm charging another battery, so I'll test it later. See if it's the pump, is it the connections, or is it the panel? I tested the panel and it put out fucking juice, so I don't know. Could be the connections. It's frustrating, I know that, but at least I got that floaty one out there. So there's some water movement. It's still fucking irritating though. I woke up thinking, oh hell yeah, I get to go chill by the pond. But I mean, I can still do it, because I am, but I really wanted to watch the water go over the fucking, whatever that is. Yeah, I'm supposed to get the new panel today, so I was really hoping that everything was going to be working, so that way I could just replace the old panel with the new one, and have it be better, but it's not even working now, so. Yeah, it's frustrating, that's all I can say. It's time to get high. Puff, puff, pat. <laughs> Get that shit up. <laughs> it's been a pretty crazy fucking week, man. <laughs> it started out with a fucking eclipse. And then <laughs> there was an earthquake in New York. <laughs> Fucking O.J. Simpson died yesterday. <laughs> what the fuck's going to happen today? Oh, yeah, there was that crazy ass story in California that like nobody's talking about. Probably because it was fucking horrific. And there's no one to blame because, yeah. Some fucking bitch got some crazy ass fucking astrology bitch fucking stabbed up her fucking living boyfriend or whatever who I think she had a kid with and the kid was eight months old and she had a daughter with another dude and she's nine and so a girl stabbed up dude tried to drag his body out of the fucking condo but gave up so she dragged him back into the condo and then she took the nine-year-old and the eight-year-old and got in her car, drove it through the gate, you know, because it's like underneath the condos or whatever, but there's a gate, so she drove through it, then was on the 405 freeway, and then told her fucking nine, the nine-year-old who was holding the baby to get the fuck out the car, get out, and so she was like, no, obviously, because the car's still rolling, why the hell, what, what, no. So the mom pushed her the fuck out with the baby. The baby fucking landed on the freeway. Someone ran it over, killed that, killed the baby. And then the nine-year-old, like, took refuge, like, on the side of the freeway. Like, right up against the wall. And I think when they found her, she was holding the baby. But the baby was dead, so. It ain't over. I don't know, it's not over. So then the mom, or the woman, uh, drove... She was driving a Porsche Panamera, one of those types of fucking, like, it's a family car, but it goes like 180 miles an hour. She drove that shit into a fucking tree and killed herself. So, dude's dead, baby's dead, and then the bitch died. So, that's three people. The only person left is the nine-year-old, and she's going to need some fucking therapy for sure. She saw all of it. She saw the stabbing. She saw, obviously, what happened to the baby. Uh, anyway, that happened on Monday because of the eclipse. She sh fucking lost her goddamn mind. Talking about the apocalypse and all kinds of shit. But, hey, guess what? It's Friday. <laughs> Nothing happened. So, I guess... You'd think people would start to let go of fucking ridiculous like shit like that, but... No. I don't know what happened today. I'm not sure yet. Hopefully nothing other than my fucking goddamn 
water feature doesn't work. Yeah, as you can tell, it, it, it's irritating to me. It makes me angry when I finish something, make it what I wanted it to be, and then I come back to, to expect to enjoy it, and I fucking can't because it just doesn't work. I hate that. I absolutely fucking hate that. There's no reason for this. The pump's brand new. The fucking panel was working yesterday. So you're telling me in the span of 24 hours, fucking gremlins came in here and fucked everything up? <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. So I'm going to try to get this fucking fixed up. But I won't be able to enjoy it tomorrow because tomorrow's Saturday. And... Yeah. Anyway. charging another battery right now because I think both of them were dead so I think that's probably why I couldn't test it but I'll come out later with the charged battery and make sure that the pump still works I'm pretty sure it does I hooked it up to the batteries that were almost dead you can hear it like try to kick on but it just can't because it's not enough fucking power yeah. yeah I got another one of those floaties fucking coming too so but those fuckers are cheap they end up fucking shit in the bed pretty quick too so. at least there's something idea why it fucking just won't work. I don't get it. It's weird the birds now are different from the birds in the morning. Well, maybe that's the same birds, it's a different song. I don't know. It worked yesterday, and yesterday it was kind of cloudy. I don't know. Like, the only way to make me not think about this and stop thinking about it and relax is to fix it and make it work. But I can't right now. I'm kind of stuck in this fucked up limbo. Because it's not rocket science. If you have a pump, you have two leads, positive, negative. You have power, whether that be a battery or a solar panel. And then the connections in between. Those are the only fuck. that's the three fucking things. It can't be the pump, it's brand fucking new. Tested the panel, putting out juice. 21 point fucking three or some shit, I don't know. I tested the fucking panel after the second connection, so it's not that part of the connection. And it was working yesterday, so the connections can't be that. It can't be. It can't be the connections. It can't be the phone. It can't be the fucking panel. So I don't fuck. See what I mean? I'm stuck. I don't. I don't know. I'm just gonna try to charge up a battery so I know for sure it's getting the fucking the power. And if it still won't work. Then I'm going to have to try to connect the battery straight to the pump. And if it doesn't work, the pump shit the bed. And that really sucks because, you know, they fucking made a money. It wasn't super expensive, but come on, god damn it. More than one day would be nice. The other pumps lasted the whole fucking season last year. So. day though the only thing that can make it better would be a fucking little water feature
Buff Buff Pass. threw down the wildflower seeds like last week so I don't expect anything to grow because I don't know seems like when I try to do anything it always ends up just not working up into including plants get to fish in a couple of weeks. It's fucking April. It's about halfway through April almost. So, I don't know, maybe it's like the last week. In a week or a week and a half or so. I'll order them and that way by the time they get here, we should be more like this every day. The threat of freeze gone. So now I can add fish and they can get to breeding. They need to make more, because when there's more, some will die off during the winter, but there'll be some that live, so they'll start it over again the following season. But I don't know if 20 fish is enough to fucking get them to breed to the point where there's enough to last through the winter. I don't know, but I'm going to motherfucking find out. little tiny fish though they're not like anything you can catch or no shit so try to get some fucking tadpoles from Ray so I can get some motherfucking frogs in this pond I am surprised how much water that little fucking floaty panel puts out I ordered another one but it's supposed to be 3.5 watts I don't even know what that one is I'm gonna go ahead and assume one <laughs> it was like six bucks or some shit Whatever, anything to disturb the surface of the water so the birds and shit can see that there's water in it. Yeah, the wind is still a thing, but it's not like it was like last week. Sometimes I think about, like, well, you got to talk about shit that people want to talk about or hear about. It's like, yeah, but nobody fucking cares at all what I do. At all. So, I'm not doing this for fucking any other reason than it's like a diary. Would you sit there and write your diary, but, like, write it in a way that, like, oh, fill in the blanks, going to read it. So, I want to make sure that, nah, fuck that. That's not the point. I'm all the fuck alone, so. Who are you supposed to talk to when that's the case? <clears throat> well, yourself. But then you're like one of those crazy people. Well, no, I'm self-aware. I know that that's not normal. But, I mean, it is normal. Normal when you don't fuck, when you lost everything and you live out in the middle of fucking nowhere. It doesn't matter. I lived in the city and it didn't change anything. It, it was this, but like inside of a fucking dormitory or some shit. Yeah. 
yesterday, fucking, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it was homie over across the way, fucking firing off some type of hand cannon. Shit was pretty loud. Cause out in the middle of fucking nowhere, you can just fire off your fucking whatever you want. By the time any type of popo get their fucking asses out here, it's been like what an hour. <laughs> but that's not good for fire situations. That's a slight worry. Because of that fucking wind, the fire pops off, man. It could be a fucking disaster for real. A disaster for us and anybody else in the general vicinity. And that's crazy because, like, that fucking crazy lady that fucking murdered the fucking man and the baby and all that fucking, uh, like ranting about it being the end of the world and it was, these are the last days and all that shit. Yeah, they were. It was the apocalypse for them and for her. That's weird if you look at it like that. Any time someone's dying, it's technically their Armageddon. But I guess for it to be an Armageddon, everybody else has to be dying too. And I guess that's what she was trying to make reality <laughs> by killing everybody around her. Yeah, that's genuine crazy. It's just wild to hear this fucking shit, man. It just... It didn't happen. What the fuck? Moving on. OJ Simpson died. That motherfucker. He got away with that shit, man. Everybody pretty much knows it, but that was just a response to the fucking riot. Because of the bullshit that went on with fucking Rodney King. Right or wrong, it was... Uh, a response to a clear wrong. Like, like, they got your ass on video doing the shit that they've been saying you've been doing, and they just deny it, but they finally got you, you finally got caught, caught, and then they got off because they're cops. Anyway, so there was a riot, and then fucking OG did his fucking thing, and a lot of people just kind of, like, he may have done it, but I hope he gets away with it. Just like those motherfucking dirty ass cops did. But yeah, he was clearly a fucking unsavory character. He wasn't even that good in plane, airplane. <clears throat> you gotta be a certain age to know what the fuck that means. It's a movie. So anyway, he's dead. That trips me out. That there's so many people who don't know anything about it really. Because I fucking turned around. And some shit. And when I turned back around, the fucking 30 years went by. There's people alive right now. They don't even weren't even alive, but yeah, that trips me the fuck out. Time trips me the fuck out. Even though I spend every day by myself in the quiet, the time just flies. We're already fucking closing in on halfway through April. Which is fuck, man. Before we know it, we'll be halfway through the year already. Jesus Christ, man. I wish you could fucking slow it down a bit. It's weird, like, that if you want time to go fast, it fucking slow down. And then when you want it to go fast, or no, wait, when you want it to go slow, it speeds up. 
when in reality it's just the same span of time, but I guess it's just how it's perceived. Like, did time ever do that shit to people who are like in concentration camps or fucking walking the death march from fucking Japan to wherever the fuck they were taking them uh, during World War II. It's like, fuck, is there any period? Of, I mean, did that time slow down for them? Did it feel like, oh, this is taking fucking years to get to this fucking place? Or was there any chance that any of them were able to see some type of positivity in it somehow and for a split second make it feel like the time went by quickly like that he just walked like a mile but didn't really realize it because he was thinking of something back home or some shit like that so I guess yeah, that time is there somebody already said that man what that time is relative um, that's just a trip, I guess. I know somebody already discovered that, but it's a trip. It's like, if magic was real, it would be that. I don't know why it won't work. I don't know why it just won't fucking work. Waiting for the bat tree to fucking charge up a bit. I have to test it. Because I think that the fucking battery I tried to test it with was dead. So. I gotta wait for it to charge. I'll just try to hook up another pump. Put it in the little pond. So at least there's some water. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm going to uh, probably have to go back and get some stuff. So I can work on this. <clears throat>
let's see how to use this book. It's the, uh, I test the battery. Um, it's, um, it had juice. I was expecting maybe it is the problem. If that's the case, God damn it. I want my fucking water to be in the water.
Be the pump. You have to come from the panel. Well, <clears throat> the panel's okay. It's putting out electricity. The wires are okay. <clears throat> it could maybe be the, uh, the splice. All right, let me see. Yeah, I think the pump should be straight. Let's see, it's probably... Wow. I 
can't believe how fucked up that is. I can't see the shit. A brand new fucking pump.
it ain't pretty, but fuck it. I've learned that I think the uh, the new pump might just be busted, which I don't understand because I only worked it for one day. And then there goes the clouds. <laughs> To kill what I just made work again. Yeah, but at least I know now that the uh, panel's okay. So the new panel, I can just run in parallel with that one for more power. I brought one of those fucking splitters I was talking about. This shit. Plug the fucking ground side in on this end from the panel. And now I have two grounds so now I can run two different pumps because the other one has the same thing but it's for the positive and so I was wondering if maybe it was this or one of these that was causing the connection problem but uh, no that's not it yeah anyway so I'll reinstall them shits later But it's like I have to do this shit while it's sunny because that's the only way I can test the panel. But I just now know that the panel's fine because it ran the pump, this pump. So I can uh, use a battery instead of the panel to test pumps and shit like that. So. Yeah, because, you know, I guess if shit would just work the way it's supposed to, then you would never have anything to do. <laughs> I'd rather have nothing to do. I wanted to just come out here and spark up, but I ended up having to do all this extra work. But it's worth it when the sun comes out. off the battery so I know the battery is good. The battery's good, wiring's good, so that's the pump. Maybe it's got like shit all clogged up on it. I don't know. I gotta get the other boots so that I can stand in the pond and do all that shit. I'm gonna do it later. Because when I decided that it was still it was sunny and the pump was working. That's what I'm talking about. You know, when shit works the way it's fucking supposed to. That's crazy, that's the old phone. You know? uh, the new one had more power. So that was looking to get more water going over the fall. So this ain't bad. Just gotta figure out what the fuck. figure out what the fuck with the other with this pump the new one and I could put this one in the other pond and have two with the panel that I'm using right now. I could use the new panel for the new pump. At least that was the fucking planned course of action but it ain't working and I don't know why. Continue to get high. <laughs> I'm 
dope ass pipe. Ja Rasta, I'm a get high. No, no. Ja Rasta, I'm a stay high. <laughs> Damn, I'm glad I fucking posted this thing out. Wouldn't be able to fucking sit here like this without it. The breeze from the... Or the cooling effect from the breeze is just enough to mitigate the heat from the sun. But being able to be blocked, being able to block the sun fucking does a great deal. To alleviate the fucking... intensity the reason why that water pump's working so good I know uh, I knew that there was enough sunlight the little panel that could that motherfucker got blown all over the place when it was windy as shit it's all bent not cracked though so that might have something to do with it and it's still fucking powering the the pan of the pump. So. I have high hopes for the new panel, but I don't understand why the new pump took a shit so fast. Like, what the fuck? It literally one day, one day, am I that one guy on the reviews? It's like, oh, the panel didn't work after like more than twelve hours. Like, ah, I guess can't fucking return it. So. Damn it. I don't know, maybe I'll become a fucking bilge pump fucking repair guy. <laughs> Figure it out. Oh, yeah, your Class C35 diode just just went out. All you gotta do is, yeah, I don't know anything about any of that shit. Half blind and semi retarded, so I don't know. But, Ray did bring up a good idea, though, since that, I guess, it's not a dam, that wall, the far wall, if you want to call it, is, uh, not like a dam, as the water line right there is kind of just, where I dug the fucking hole, where the ground meets the hills right here. So what if I just basically put a slit right in the middle of the far wall and then moved all the dirt, like doors opening, and then just put all that dirt up against the hills, the hills on each side, but after I've dug another, I don't know, what, another pond, one this big, or should I go bigger? and farther. Now, I don't want to go farther because I dug it over here because I wanted to be down out of sight from the fucking neighbors and shit, and going that way will decrease my strategic position. Now. <laughs> my fucking set down in the fucking little gulch. Ooh, I hear an airplane. I can't see it. Y'all see that motherfucker? I don't. I can't see shit. I can hear it though. Yeah. There. We got an airplane on video. Maybe. Uh, music to cut up. Probably not great music, but music nonetheless. That's why I call it still music, because it's still music, even if it's fucking chock full of fucking mistakes and accidents and all kinds of fucking, you know, 
fucking tempo increases or decreases. I'm well aware of it, but it's still music. <laughs> into fucking like a wind powered air pump that motherfucker would never stop working because it's always fucking windy seems like I know it's a thing I just I don't know I think it's pretty much fucking done. I just gotta keep it going. And to do that, at least today, and then I had to whip out the old pump with, you know, not a specified length of hose. Just kind of throw them together real quick just so I could make it the way it was supposed to be when I came out here earlier. But I'm gonna come out later with a far, with a battery and uh, connected directly to the pump, the new one. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to take it out of the water and just inspect it, see if it makes sure it's not clogged. Or, you know, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. And if it's still, it then there's it's not clogged, and I guess I'm just gonna disconnect the hose. And then bring it back to the little workshop or whatever and see if I can make it work again. And if it won't, then goddamn, I got a fucking new pump that just died like a day after I got it. Yeah. Well, shit happens, I guess. But I really wanted to hear that pump do this job because. It was more water, it was bigger. Ah, it's alright. I'm gonna get some fish pretty soon. It looks a lot more like a pond now, that's cool. Like the color, the coloration of whatever the fuck's growing, I guess, on the rocks and shit in there. I put a skull in there too. I mean, not real, but just for shits and giggles. See if you can see it looking out at you. <laughs> if you can see it looking out at you, because I can't see shit. So. Damn, it looks like there's still snow, like on the hills over there. That's how cold it's been all the way into fucking April. Yeah. It's almost 420, motherfucker. Not just the time of day, but the actual date. <laughs> Today is April. I believe. Friday, motherfucker. Yeah. I lost my temper earlier. Fucking with the fucking connectors. Uh, but what was fucking with me wasn't the reason why it's not working. So. What 
this is kind of my video. Yeah, this is almost like I could ride fucking bike to the gorge weather. I do look forward to doing that shit again. Last time it was my fucking hands that were giving me shit, so. Going all numb. I'm a little less trepidatious about doing it now, though, too, because I know exactly how far away it is. It seems like it's super far, and it kind of is, but it's not impossible to walk. <laughs> Provided some fucked up shit happened to the bike or whatever. But the part that makes me nervous is the fucking paved part, but then I was thinking, well, fuck, I'll just, I guess I could just walk it. Just when I get to the cement part, just walk that way I can well no fuck that it's yeah that's why I don't like it because you gotta complete you gotta try to see what the fuck's going on behind you car wise cause no I don't trust motherfuckers at all hell no nah. oh I got a bright red light that's flashing and they'll see you and they just won't you know no fuck that I'm not trying to end up on the fucking cement for any reason. Not the bike failing and not getting hit by a motherfucking car. So the stretch of cement is probably I don't know. I'm gonna go with like a quarter mile. That's funny. Now I got another quarter mile to try to fucking knock down as fast as I can. I mean, the only way I could do it is during the like, early morning or at night, because I can see headlights. But during the day, it's not so easy. Because, you know, I can't see. For shit. Like, it's hard to explain. It really is. My right eye won't let me look at anything like in fact like if i'm watching something on tv or whatever and they're like gonna stab somebody with a needle or some shit i can't fucking handle that shit i can't stand needles so all i do is i just close my left eye and then look through my right because i can't see shit through my right eye i can't see anything it's not nothing it's just a gray staticky ever moving amoeba of nerve damage i guess so I don't have to look at it. I can just close my left eye and not, not look at it at all. But, so the only reason why I can see anything is my left eye. But my left eye is affected with that weird gray amoeba shit too. Just not completely like the right eye. That's the only reason why I can fucking do anything. If I had fucking waited longer... Well, if I had waited longer, I would have died. So I went about as long as you can go without dying. And this is how much fucking damage it gets done to the optic chiasm. up to no fucking water feature and now it's back. <laughs> uh, 
run it off the panel the way it's fucking supposed to. Kind of sounds like I could still hear some type of a liner. Uh, I might be getting in this motherfucker this season. Like, in. When it's hot as shit. <laughs> so that it'll feel good. Still diving around in my motherfucking pond. <laughs> I know exactly what it looks like in there because I dug it. Yeah, I could just dig. I got a really deep one on the other side. Fill that motherfucker with water. And that could be one that you just cannonball into. That's the cannonball pond. <laughs> just to get, you know, cooled off. During the during the summer, <laughs> yeah, I could throw Cindy in it. <laughs> She'd probably be so pissed off. Like, I'll calm down. It's clean. I gotta cut up these So, I think that's what I'm fitting to do. Fitting to. Thanks for chilling, watching me overcome this mechanical discrepancy, and talk about some shit. Till next time. Late, late, later on.